struggling to get your bird to eat healthier? Here are some great products and tips to start your bird and you on that journey. Hello everyone, welcome back to The Parrot Teacher. I am Dave and today we are talking about foods that are great for diet conversion. It is a struggle to diet convert some birds onto a healthier diet and I know some of you really have difficulty with it and I know some birds can be fussy initially because they're used to all seeds or all pelleted diets. So what I thought I would do is do a video showing some kind of gateway products or gateway tips to get your bird to start eating healthier because diet conversion doesn't have to be all at once, it doesn't have to be a big rush, it doesn't have to be straight from all seeds to all vegetables there are some products you can get and some things you can do to help make the process easier and honestly if you are getting your birds to eat some of these things they are on that path already it may just take a bit more time depending on your individual parrot and i would like to give a huge thanks to northern parrots for providing some of the products i'm going to show in this video they are awesome they're very useful and they're pretty good for getting your birds to start eating more healthily in a very um, gentle and introductory manner. So thank you again, Northern Parrots. It is much appreciated. Remember also, if you don't shop with Northern Parrots in the UK, they are our, basically our shop of choice. They generally are one of the best ones you can buy from and they have really good customer service. If you haven't signed up to their newsletter, you can get a discount initially when you shop with them. But anyway, let's straight, straight into the video. So going from a slightly unhealthier diet to a healthier sort of raw diet can be a bit of a culture shock for our parrots. They don't always initially want to. Obviously in the wild they would naturally eat these sort of things, but here with us they haven't learned that and they're used to whatever they've been getting before they came to you. So we want to give them a middle ground here and there's one product which is absolutely awesome for providing that middle ground and getting to eat vegetables, but almost in the same sort of way they're eating food right now and that is freeze-dried products now bird street bistro have recently released these freeze-dried products and there's a big mix here you've got carrot mango boost here you've got peas and bell peppers these would be very good for conyers especially and we have green goodness boost which i would recommend for cocktails and budgies purely because Conyers tend to be a bit more sweet beak they tend to like their um, vegetables a little sweeter like peppers whereas i've noticed Birds like cockatiels and budgies and like like their greens a lot more, almost like a savoury sweet sort of thing. And then obviously you've got the carrot one, which could be for either. But freeze dried vegetables are really great for your parrot. The great thing about freeze dried vegetables over dried vegetables is they retain 90% of their nutritional value. So if you're providing a freeze dried vegetable, they're getting a lot of their nutrition. Now it's obviously not as amazing as a fresh, you know, biodiverse vegetable but this is a good halfway house. And if you're struggling to diet convert your parrot, getting them onto freeze dried vegetables is a great first step and they will be getting a lot of that nutritional goodness. It's also not as much of a culture shock for your parrot because when they're eating freeze dried, it's almost like they're eating the seeds. And because some of them will be dried, it will have a slightly more concentrated flavor, which will be more appealing. And it's just a great way to get them into it. So I think it's great that Bird Street Bistro have introduced freeze-dried vegetables into their range. I know a few other companies are doing it. It is something me and Sophie are really happy about because they are the best way of getting vegetables in a more dry manner to you, your bird. And even though we provide fresh chop, we still provide freeze-dried veggies in our dry mixes or as an extra in our birds' evening meals. They have a place in almost every diet purely because you're getting that goodness and it's nice and dry so you can have it with their seeds and other yummies for their evening meal. Something else I wanted to say is seed is not evil. A lot of the misconceptions about seeds come from an all seed diet. When a bird's fed nothing but sunflowers, nothing but millet, that is no good. You don't want just one predominant thing in their diet because it's not gonna be good for them, you know. We can't, if we just ate nothing but McDonald's, it wouldn't be good for us, but having it occasionally is completely fine. So some seed is okay. And when you're looking at diet conversion, it may be worth looking at a healthier seed mix with less of the high fat seeds, or maybe looking at a seed mix that you make yourself. But if you don't really want to do that, there's a great product by Tops, which also make the pellets we kind of like, and it's called Napoleon Seed Mix. Now, what I like about this seed mix, it is a healthy seed mix and it can be fed dry. You will see this pop up again later on in the video, because I want to show it off again for another reason. But just converting your parrot onto a healthier seed mix with more diversity in the mix, maybe more grains and different types of seeds, is a great first step to get them to eat healthier. Because a lot of commercial seed mixes just have stuff like peanuts, they have sunflower, they have millet, um, they have random dried fruit pieces rather than uh, freeze dried, and that's not very healthy all the time. 
So again, a healthier seam, it's lighter than the top's Napoleon one, is a great way to take a first step into getting your parrot eating healthier, but without too much of a culture shock for them because it is basically still just seed. You can hear some rustling now because the next tip I have for getting your birds to eat healthier, and you may have seen this before in my videos, is fresh herbs. Now fresh herbs is probably the cheapest way of doing it. We got these from our local supermarkets. We have rosemary here, which is a big hit for most of our parrots. We have, um, sorry, mint, that's what I'm looking at, and we have thyme. Fresh herbs are awesome, they're incredibly cheap, and they are a great gateway to diet converting your parrot and getting them to start eating healthier. We like to do all sorts of things with our fresh herbs. We can sometimes just sprinkle them over their chop or include them in their um, evening meal. We like to just thread them through the bars. We make toys where we have a whole bunch of them threaded together to make a kind of um, like a herb tree, which has been a big success for our parrots and for a lot of clients as well. Herbs are very flexible, they're very cheap, and it doesn't even matter if your parrot is just destroying it initially. If your parrot is just going up to that rosemary and pulling little leaves off of it, that's great. That means they're interacting with something green and they're getting used to interacting with a nice new food source. And inevitably they are going to ingest some. And if they like the flavor, like with mint for example, which has a lovely sort of um, cal calming, <laughs> we do say that sometimes, a lovely cool um, sweet flavor, they ingest it like, oh, okay, that tastes quite nice. Maybe I'll try other green things. So do consider trying herbs when you're doing diet conversion. Because even if they just play with it, that's a great first step to get them to eat other greens. So going back to seeds, seeds don't always have to be served just as seeds. Sometimes you can actually soak seeds in other items. And again, this is where this tops mix comes back into the mix. Into the mix? Yeah, into the mix. That was a, not a very good pun at all, I do apologize. This Napoleon seed mix can also be soaked and it has some guidelines on how long you should soak it on there. And soaking seeds for your parrots is a great first step to improving their diet because it improves their digestibility, it improves their nutritional profile, and it's very easy to do. Most of the time you just put them in a cool glass, rinse them, and then just leave them for a while. I've got actually a soaking guide, which I'll leave a card for now so you can explore that topic more. If you do get into your soaking, you can even make your own soaking mixes like this one. If it's too hard and you just want to buy one, this is a great one to get, the Napoleon seed mix by Tops. But making your own is a great way or just buying whatever you want to do. But soaking, again, is a great first step. And if you really feel like you're getting the hang of it and you want to try something even more advanced, you can go into sprouting. And sprouting is even better. Sophie has an awesome video on sprouting. I'll leave a card for now where you basically start a germination process of your seeds and it gets them even healthier. It's the sort of things they would eat in the wild. A lot of people say in the wild cockatiels we eat just seeds and they'll just nothing else. No, they'll go into those farmers fields and they will look for sprouts because they're higher value nutritionally. They're much more protein dense, they're much better for them, so they'll pick them in priority, not just the seeds. So sprouting is a great thing you can do. A bit more challenging, but well worth it to start getting your parrot to eat healthier. So just to round off this topic, I thought I'd present you some tips on helping with diet conversion. Obviously it's a complex process for a lot of parrots and it is difficult, but using these sorts of foods and these sorts of gateway products is a great way of getting your parrot started. It doesn't have to be a sprint, it's more of a marathon. Sometimes it takes a lot of time, a lot of perseverance and consistency, just continually offering foods over and over to get your parrot to try them. It is a marathon, not a sprint, and you will need to keep trying. There will be some wastage involved, but the more you try, the more likely you are to have success. Now, if you want some tips on converting your cockatiel to eating healthier, I have a video which I'll leave a card for now. And if you'd like an even more in-depth video where Sophie talks about 20 great diet conversion tips, she has a great video which I'll leave a card for now as well. There are a multitude of ways you can try it. I would start with these sorts of things in a great way, but there's loads of things you can try and my advice is just keep trying, keep going, keep offering and presenting loads of different ways. Be creative, that also helps and just keep going with your diet conversion journey because it will work out in the end and you and your bird will be much happier and healthier for it. So guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, I'd love to hear from you down below. Again, a big thank you to Northern Parrots for sending me some of the bits in this video. But in the meantime, take care and see you later.